Alright, hey, what's up, guys? My name's Steven Thompson. I'm head writer for the Inside Scooters blog. And uh, I'm going to teach you how to put your grip tape on. Now, there's a couple things you'll need. Of course, grip tape. Some scissors. Any sort of exacto knife or blade. And whatever hardware you need to take your back end apart, your scoop. So, first step is just, you know, get your brake off and anything that's getting in the way of your cut from the back side. Okay, so now that's done, your deck's just, you know, basically plain as can be. There's no other way to cut anymore. So, first step would be get your grip tape. And they usually come in full sheets, which are much bigger than this one. I just kind of eyeballed it out and just trimmed it so I wouldn't, you know, waste any grip tape. So, first step would be kind of just line it up. You know, if you got a nice flat edge, you know, it comes with the grip tape, try and use that for one side. Makes it a lot easier. And you can you know, line up at the back, front, wherever, doesn't matter. As long as it's on there even. So right now it's kind of cut stuck like that, you know, just covering the whole scoop. For the front right here, it's pretty simple. You just want to slice down the edge right here so you can get a nice little seam going. All right, now up by the head tube is the part you kind of want to watch out for. When you first start off, just get your lacto knife, you know, even with the side. And just trim it straight down like that. And then once you get it down, you're going to want to get it off the welds. You know, if it's on the welds, it's not going to get a good, you know, seal of the deck, and it's going to end up peeling off. So you can kind of just feel out the welds, line up the blade right outside of them, and just cut it straight down. Same with the other side. And kind of feel they stop in the back right here. Same things, connect the dots. Then you can trim the little tabs off if you want. The way I like to do it, I use you know use an Allen wrench or something, just get a little line going, get a little crease, and lets me know where it's cut at. So then this guy's gone now. now. It's always best to use a sharp blade if you can. This one's a little dull, so it's stuck over on this side, but the sharper the better. So then now it's nice and clear of your welds, so it won't peel off anymore. So then you can start working with just the sides right here. You now again, I like just using an Allen wrench just because it lets me know where I'm at. You know, lets me over to cut, and also sometimes if there's a sharp edge on the edge, you can actually just cut the grip tape already. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, so then trim any the excess grip tape you have with a razor blade. 
All right, so same thing with the sides. You know, if you have anything, it helps a lot. Just lets you know where you're at and where to cut. You don't gotta be too aggressive, just be gentle. So once you that little outline going, I like to just kind of cut the break area right here. Just feel it out where it starts. Place it straight down. Up to the front. Go side to side. Grab your wrench again. Cools if the edge is sharp, grip tape just rips off right there. It makes it nice and easy. Get rid of the excess, keep working with it. Clean up a bit if you want. Now, if you want to use a razor blade, you know you can do that too. Just take your time with it. Trim any excess you got, keep going. It's all pretty much the same from here. So once you get everything cleaned up, just try and you know go back, trim any excess pieces that you think might start peeling off. Also it makes it look a lot cleaner too. And then a little trick, if you just kind of rub the edge of the Allen wrench like that, it kind of seals the grip tape to the deck so it won't peel off. So. Alright, and then the French ID has a little brake bolt hole. Kind of just feel it out. I mean, the same thing with the TSI or Phoenix, same thing. Now the way I like to do it, I put a little X. Now you just a little guy. I just put him in there and basically just drill it out. But if you don't have that, I mean, you know, I just kind of get a feel for it. And get your razor blade and just take your time to trim it out. So after that, you're pretty much done. Just start reassembling it, and you're good to go. So you're done.